Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that is not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that'll make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 47, NASDAQ down 17, S&P's off one and a half, gold contract down $20.80 trading at 2005 an ounce. We have silver down 11 cents, $24.98 an ounce, late sweet crude off 95 cents, $79.76 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, down nine ticks, trading 115.16, the 30 year off 18 at 132.17 and king dollar. King dollar up 481 ticks, trading at 102.573, euros at 108, yens at 133 and the British pound is at 123 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, last Thursday, you got the rejection of lower price. You had lighter volume. That's saying that this market wants higher price. And we'll see, you know, how this reacts coming up to this swing. And so we have out here... You know, on Friday, on last Thursday, rather, you went, you get down to a price point of that 405. You were coming into volume of 130, 112 million. You did 63. Today, you're doing the same thing. You know, you get an inside day today, but you're doing the same thing. You get down to 405.97. You know, you're not holding, yeah, you're holding that level. If you, if you look at the, the SPY, you know, the SPY can pull back a bit, but I'm talking about a few points. That we could be down eight points or something. But once we got that pop um, a little bit earlier in the day, right here, this pop right here, I mean, that's to me, 4122. So, yeah, well, 4122 it can pull back to. You know, right there's, right there's the number. But that's not going to change the complex of going higher. All that's going to do is that, yeah, coming into the close, they take some bread, that's it. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We take a look at the NDX, what we have at the NDX out here. And, you know, bank earnings start Friday, so that's maybe they're just waiting for that. But bottom line, inside the queues, what we had, the queues were coming into 75 million shares. We did 46 and rejected 312. And we have an inside day in the queues, so that doesn't mean much. But that's also telling me. Now, the queues get interesting because the, the queues, I mean, I think it's 334, the number we're looking at. Yes, yeah, 334. I mean, that's the number it's going after. So I suspect it's going to hit it, too, because what you have here, on the other side, when we came off the highs at 334, that's the highest volume bar on the way down, folks, okay? 334.15 is the low of that bar. And, you know, when you have counter trend bounces, bottom line, you know, they like to go to it. So we'll see how that shakes out. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract's turning into a, con a complex ABC structure up. And what complex means, folks, is this. Is it means that you took out the B point. You took it out with volume, which gives you the price projection. Price projection is 2154. Now you back down under the B. Now, as long as you back down under the B with light volume, it's no big deal. And that's what we're doing. You're backing down under the B. So the B point is 2031. Well, we're at 2005, but you're backing down. When we took out that B point, the bottom line, we took that B point out with 233,000. You're only backing down with 129. We go to the dollar, we take a look at, well, no. Next, I want to go to the notes and bonds because the note and bond market is going to move this market again. And what's happening with the note and bond market, it looks to me like we're setting up a very large ABC structure on the way up. We'll see how large it is. In, in the, but even if we just come back down to the last swing area, which is on the 10, is about 114 to 0.07, or the one below that at 113. Either one of those still sets up a very large ABC structure on the way up. And both of those are approximately, well, one's a, just over a 0.382, the other's a 5.0. You're backing down with tremendously lighter volume. You're talking about volume-wise here on the 10... 
Yeah, it's a joke, actually. You're backing down with uh, 704,000 contracts going into 1.5 million. And then if we get over into the ND, I mean, to the dollar, this is the wild card out here. The dollar, you know, bottom line, couldn't make it to 106 and 107 last time. And all of that 106 and 107 is, is a 0 0.382 of the leg down. And bottom line, it gave it up at the 103 and a half. Uh, now, it saved itself right where the strength was. The strength in the dollar came off the lows at that 101,546. We made it to 101,415 and rejected lower price. So uh, we'll see once again, you know, if in fact we can see that dollar go up to that 106 or 107. But my take is that we're going to do it. We take a look at some why, because the bottom line is that it's a great trading market. And when a great trading market, you're going to be bouncing back and forth very quickly inside of the indices, inside of the bond market, inside of the currency market. So we take a look at some of the higher volume equities here. First, we'll go inside the NDX 100. What you have inside the NDX is that Micron Tech's up 7.5%, AMD's up 3.5%, uh, Lamb Research's up 35 Taken away from it, JD.com's off 2, Apple's off 1.86, Google's off 1.8. Inside of the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point-wise here, you get Caterpillar putting that 39 positive points, Home Depot 19, American Fresh 12, taken away from it. Apple, only 20. Give me a break. Microsoft uh, 17, you got Amgen 15. That's not a lot of selling, man. That's the bottom line, folks. And, and when you look at the headlines on it, it was pretty wild. And yes, there's no doubt Apple makes all their money with uh, the iPhones, but they sell a lot of Macintosh computers, too. And 40% cut in any type of uh, business you're in is pretty intense, man. There's no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, let's, let's just see like how this is set up. Actually, I want IWM. Let's go look at that IWM for a second. IWM. We take a look at the IWM. Okay, so. Yeah, that one was higher price too. I mean, it, you know, it broke the lower consolidation, but once it got back on the other side of it, which is 170, it's saying, hey, this will have to build cars, but that looks to me like, you know, these higher swing points, and the IWM, I don't think that higher swing point's there. It'll commit to some flack, but the indices, that higher swing point is there. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back with I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes.